Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Wen Jilu from University of Toronto. Um, today, I will be presenting our work on efficient deep learning for stereo matching. Um, this is a joint work with Alex and Raquel. So we know that stereo estimation has been a challenging problem over years. And in this paper, we are interested in the application of autonomous driving, where we want our algorithm to be good enough to detect obstacle precisely. We want it to run fast, even towards real time. And it, it needs to be robust um, while applying on real world images, especially with saturation, specularities, and so on and so forth. So recently, we, we have seen deep learning perform very well on high level semantic tasks um, like detection. So what about low level tasks such as stereo? So last year, CVPR, Zubanta and Lequin, they proposed a simple SAMIS network that takes input of two image patches extracted from left and right images. They use convolution layers to compute the feature representation of batch, image patch and uh, fully connect the layers on top to compute the similarity score. So they treat it as a binary classification problem and the network is trained to, minim to compute the similarity score of two image patches. So it works very well, but the problem is that it's too slow. It requires one minute of GPU computation for a single image on KT datasets. And also the matching itself was not great because the score are not uh, correlated for different disparities. So what can we do about this? We propose a different SAMIS network that util utilizes the simple dot product layer on top of convolutions. As we can see on the left figure, our matching score is computed by an uh, inner pro product of patch representations being order of magnitude faster than previous method. On the other hand, during training, our network output the distribution over all possible disparities, and this allows us to utilize multi-class loss so that the scores are calibrated incorporating more context information. Here are some quantitative results on KT 2015. So as we can see, our approach produced much more accurate matches. For example, the 3 pixel error improves from 12% to 7%. And also the speed, it's two orders of magnitude faster than competing method, improving from 22 seconds to 0.3 seconds. We also evaluate our matches using different smoothing and post-processing techniques. However, notice that after post-processing, our, our results are not the best. So probably, uh, it's probably because I haven't had enough longer for the parameter. Okay, finally, I, I will show some sample images. So here the uh, uh, prediction obtained directly from the network without any smoothing or post-processing technique. As we can see, visually, it also works very well. And lastly, our code is public available at our um, project webpage. Feel free to try it out. And thank you for your attention. That's it.